Well, I always aspire to do architecture that's very, very simple. But after that simplicity, I try to inject a little bit of delight in it. A little twist that somehow when you look at it, you never thought it's actually possible. That delight for me is actually the part that makes everything magical and exquisite. Uh, what we are aspiring for is actually a sense of simplicity, uh, a sort of uh, quietude and, and calm. Materials that we are using for the external part of the building is uh, sort of reinforced concrete. It has a texture of what we call a charred wood and a burnt. Basically, this is a very, very traditional Japanese finish. But internally, what we are doing also is actually a continuation of this materiality from uh, charred wood to, to different muted colours of wood. We are looking for a kind of luxury, but the luxury of a sense that is not uh, shiny, but is a lot more subdued and subtle. So the wood is all muted. The stones that we use is also very muted. Grades of, uh, of grey, shades of grey, but it's a very warm grey, sort of complement a lot with the, with the wood tones. So basically, this Ikigai, this life purpose of the development, basically for me, is to create a backdrop for people to be themselves, for people to be able to express themselves. And then at the same time, to create a sort of an environment that is harmonious for everybody to thrive in and to be able to communicate, sort of a, to, to live together. You know? So that is basically, for me, the purpose of this, uh, objective of this development.